And now let's look at transition timing function, right? So here again, we're going to do it with an example right away. So I'm going to say this is going to be div. And again, this is going to have a class. And we're going to right away give it a box, right? So this is going to be the first class. And then we're going to start giving our own classes, right? And the first one is going to be actually ease or here like this. And as you remember already previous videos, this is going to have to do something with a transition timing, right? So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste them. One, two, three, uh, four over here. And total is going to be five. And the next one is actually going to be linear. So we're going to go over here, linear. And then after that, it's going to be ease. And this is going to be ease in over here. And then this is going to be a ease out over here and this is going to be ease in out all right so now that we have this we're going to go back over here and first we're going to say for the box all right we're going to go over here we're going to say class and this is going to be box all right and we're going to say again with and with is let's say 100 pixels over here then we're going to have a height of 100 pixels right and over here we're going to say that a background color is going to be let's say for all of them it could be exactly the same right so we're going to say that the background color is let's say blue background color and we're going to say blue right so now we have them and what we're going to do is say margin over here and margin is going to be 20 pixels right so now i can see that we have a little bit of more space so once we have this now let's go over here and let's start looking at our transition timing properties, right? But in order to do that, what we're going to do over here, we're going to say that this is going to be a, let's say for ease, right? So we're going to say ease over here. And we're going to say as we're hovering, right? Something should happen, right? So we're going to go back over here. And we're going to say that this should be, let's say, transform, right? And we're going to say translate. And we're going to say translating will be, let's say, uh, I don't know, like 90 pixels, 90 pixels over here. And over here, if you remember with the box, right, we're going to go back over here and we're going to say that this is going to be transition over here like this. And then we're going to say transform over here. And then we're going to say how long it's going to take, right? So we're going to say something like four seconds, right? So let's check it out what we have, right? And the first one, right, for the ease, you can see how it works, right? So let's make it a little bit faster, actually and a little bit longer because then we're going to be able to see better what's happening right so we're here we go back to let's say one second or two seconds and let's make it like 150 right save this and now you can see what's happening right so now it goes over here and comes back out right and what we're actually doing right now we're actually by default right there is already a position timing function right and in order to show you that right if we go back over here right and let's say for the ease, we're going to create a ease, right? For the actual ease, we're going to go back over here and we're going to say transition timing over here, transition timing function, right? Actually, ease is already by default, right? So if we're going to set it for the ease, it's actually going to be exactly the same right now, right? So over here, what we can do is maybe let's change this one out for box, right? So for all of them, this is going to be translate, not just for ease, right? But over here, you can see that this is going to be ease is going to be for this first box, right? So now you can see how the ease works, right? And again, this is going to be the default, right? So over here, the second one, right? This is also going to be the same for now, right? So now we're going to go back over here and let's maybe move these things around, right? And over here, we're going to do it like this. We're going to cut this one out. And we're going to copy and paste it over here, right? So again, this is going to be together for the box, right? So now we're just affecting the first one. But this was default, right? So now we go over here and we're going to say linear, right? And linear is going to be same speed, right? So here we're going to say transition over here, transition timing function. And we're going to say linear, right? And you should see the difference, right? You can see that this one just generally does the same speed, right? There is no difference. It doesn't start slower, it doesn't start faster, right? With this one, you can see that there's a delay, right? It starts slower, actually, and actually ends slow, right? So that's the default. Now, the next one that we have over here is going to be ease in. And that's going to start slow and actually end fast. So I'm going to say ease in over here. And we're going to say transition timing. Again, we're going to find transition timing, not text, transition timing function over here. And we're going to say ease 
and in right over here and maybe you know what is over here and let's start like writing the comments right let's start writing that this is going to be default over here and remember how we can need to write it in css this is not javascript so we're going to say default over here and we're going to say this is going to ease in over here fast right uh, start slow and start and slow so slow and slow start right and then linear it's going to be the same speed right same speed over here then for the ease in right we're going to go back over here we're going to say start slow start slow over here and end fast right so let's check it out this should be the third box right so start slow and you can see that it ends faster right over here and then it goes back right over here like this right and now let's go ahead and actually let's have a look at ease out right so we're going to say ease out over here and again transition transition timing transition transition timing prop function over here and we're going to say ease out right so we're going to go here and we're going to say ease out and over here this is going to start and and end fast right so we're here start fast and fast over here like this we save this guy and let's check it out right it should start fast and actually end fast right so we're going to go back and this is how the ease out works over here right then after that what we would want to do is we would want to let's say go ahead and let's add the last one and that's going to be ease in out right so we're going to say ease in out over here and then we're going to have a transition timing transition timing transition timing property function over here and then we're going to say ease in out right and then ease in and out is actually going to start slow and then slow right and then you're saying well what is the difference right because we have the same one right the default is going to be slow end and slow start now the difference is that during the actual transition this is going to move slower right so i'm going to say start slow and slow and during transition it's going to be slower than actual ease right slower then ease over here like this ease and now also there's one more thing that we can do and this is actually a shortcut right you can see that we have the shortcut function right so we have transform two seconds right now we didn't need to write them one by one obviously for all of them right if we have only the one that we want to work with right we could just work right over here right so let's say over here i'm going to say linear right now obviously these are going to overwrite right now right but the point is that we can place it over here and it's going to work the same way right so let me just delete this over here these guys right and once we save it right if we go back over here these are going to be linear right they're all going to move the same speed there's going to be no difference right then i'm going to go over here and i'm going to say that this is going to be let's say ease in and out ease in out over here save this and see what happens right so now during the actual transition it's going to be a little bit slower than a default ease